Hello guys and welcome to your sixth Java tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to be going over if statements and what if statements are is um, they're statements that allow you to make decisions in your programs. So say based on a certain piece of information you can choose to execute execute one block of code or another block of code based on that information of course. So anyways let's start out uh, with a small example slash real world application. So say we had a website and we wanted to offer the users that came on there products right so I mean we wouldn't want to offer the same product to a person who makes sixty thousand dollars a year or more to a person who makes twenty thousand dollars a year or or less we would need to kind of you know offer the guys who make more money premium packages and the guys who make uh, less than twenty thousand basic packages so we would need to make a decision based on this the user's salary so what we would what would we do first well we would need a way to get the user's salary right so then we need to scan his information in or get user input so we would need the scanner variable and I went over all this kind of stuff in the last tutorials you should probably watch my last tutorials if you uh, haven't yet if you have you should be fine so we're creating a new my scan variable that scans stuff in from system dot in or our keyboard. Then we would uh, need to prompt our user to enter his salary. Yo, all right, there we go. So enter your salary. There we go. And now we need to actually get into an integer salary. Set it equal to my scan which is our scanner variable dot next int which fetches the next integer our user enters so now what now we've gotten you know we've got a salary and we need to kinda of make a decision based on the value of this salary so how we would do that is we would use an if statement we would say if and then uh, put parentheses after that in these square brackets so what these parentheses uh, here mean and you can see our main method has parentheses so a lot of things in Java have parentheses it means that we need to enter arguments in here or a certain condition that this if statement has to evaluate so if this condition alright I'm not going to explain that yet but to make a condition you need certain things called conditional operators and these can be such as these can be less than signs greater than signs less than or equal to signs greater than or equal to signs kind of that's that type of stuff uh, goes in parentheses so what we would what what would we do? We would say salary. If salary is greater than fifty thousand, then execute this block of code. So what we just said is that if this value, if this integer, is greater than fifty thousand, if this entire statement is true, if it's true, then we need to execute this block of code. If it's false, we do not execute this block of code and continue on. So first what we, what do we want to do if it's if it's true well we will we would probably just want to print a line out on the screen that says try our premium well premium package uh plea uh, whatever please kind of whatever that is gonna have to misspell to get his attention uh no wait sorry yeah yeah everything's right here so this would work. This would work fine. But what if his salary isn't greater than fifty thousand? We still want to have something to fall back on, right? Like some kind of other statement that will offer him a basic package. Well, this is what an else statement was, well, an added onto this if statement. So if this if statement f fails, it's just going to move on to this else statement, uh, and which says else this statement isn't true. What do we need to do? That might have kind of failed on my grammar there but whatever you got I think you guys kinda of get the point if this fails it moves on to this else statement if however this is true it just skips the else statement and goes on to the other parts of the program so if the else statement is needed we will simply copy this line of code here and instead of saying to try our premium package we're gonna say to try our basic package plea plea as a uh, is there we go. So now if we run this program and we enter for our salary say 20,000, it'll say try our basic package plea as uh, is. 
Okay. So what it's doing here is we just entered twenty thousand dollars for our salary, stores it in the salary integer. Does it says if is twenty thousand dollars greater than fifty thousand? Nope, that's false. So I'm moving on to this else statement, and I'm printing out that uh, for him to try our basic package. So there we go. It's all fine. It's all it's all working. But what if we wanted to say go even into more specific parts of our program? So say if we wanted to test if our salary is greater than forty thousand before going down right away to else. How would we do that? Well, there's something created exactly for that purpose called an else if statement. Now, what an else if statement is, is it executes directly after the if statement, if it fails, of course. So if this is false, then it goes to this else if statement. And if that's false, it goes to this else statement. That's how everything kind of works here. So else if is, uh, these are considered secondary if statements. These are a primary, this is a primary if statement. It's just some kind of terminology there for you guys, but anyways, let's move on. So if salary is greater than 40,000, then we are probably going to use our copy and pastings, copy and paste skills to try our expanded package to type that correctly. Yeah. Correct spelling for the win. And what's 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 really good about these else if statements or really handy is that you can have as many as you want of these else if statements. So say salary is greater than twenty thousand la la la. There we go. What do we want to do if it's greater than twenty thousand? Uh try our awesome package. Aw yeah. Awesome package for the win. Alright. So Anyways, let's 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 just try this program out, and I'll give you guys a sense of what what it's doing here. Uh, so enter your salary, thirty thousand, not three thousand, thirty thousand. There we go. Try our awesome package, please, as uh, or whatever. So anyways, what is it doing here? Well, it says it takes our salary, thirty thousand, and, and it plugs it in this first statement. It says, is thirty thousand greater than fifty thousand? No. That's false. It's not. So I'm going to skip this code. I'm going to move on to this else if. Is our $30,000 salary greater than 40000 Nope, that's false. So we're going to skip this code, move on here. Is our $30,000 salary greater than 20000 Yes, it is. So I'm going to print this, uh, sorry, I'm execute this code here, and I'm going to skip this else statement because else is more like something to fall back on if all of these secondary and primary uh, statements fail if statements fail alright so else is something to fall back on that's something you should you guys should probably keep in mind to always include an else statement in case something goes wrong and the user enters something that's not expected uh, so yeah that's a kind of uh, quick demonstration of if else if and el else statements uh, so guys thanks for watching uh, Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.